today on Jake's Journey, mate. So that's where we're at with Bilbo Baggins, really. Check that out, baby. I don't even cut these layers. Just as the sunrise starts to show, warming up the motorway. You know you felt this way before, but can't recall it. Welcome back to Jake's Journey, mate. Yeah, I've had a bit of a flipping trim Good up, man. mate. <laughs> Bex is passing through on her way to Wales, isn't it? Wales. For a, a yet another bike packing trip, but she's on a new bike, which is absolutely sore. So you need to go and check that out because it looks awesome. Let me give you a quick look in into what I've been doing to Bo recently while I've been cameras down and having a bit of a rejig, regroup, and just a bit of a condor moment with my thoughts. But we're feeling a bit better. Bo is still fucked, <laughs> but it is what it is, isn't it, Bex? It's what it is. It's what it is, mate. And what Bex usually says to me is, if you eat loads of broccoli, you're probably going to fart. No, I mean, what Bex, <laughs> <laughs> what Bex usually says to me is, if you're having dramas, stop, take a think, three things that you're thankful for, grateful for, and crack on. So, yeah. Yeah. Do that. I've got it right that time. Let me, yeah. Three times yeah. That right. Let me know down in the comments what three things you are currently grateful for right now, because... Share the love, man. Get flipping groovy. But let's have a look at what we've done while we've been away. Bex head book three, two, one, go. <laughs> right. Excuse mess. Got loads of building wood in. But mm, let's clean this up. Right, bit cleaner. What I've done here is built this bad boy bench, and this is going to be the one that sits on the left hand side. And check it out, man. There's some serious real estate on there. That looks cack, doesn't it? Let's bugger that off. Um, and yeah, it's full of tools at the minute, but you can see what we've done down one side here with the tongue and groove And that will also be tongue and grooved across there and then we'll have a flap up lid on there You can already start to see that's where one battery's going and then we'll have one parallel on that side And then down the back of there I've sectioned it off you can see that bar We've got a diesel heater going in as well So that will be boarded off across there and across there access to both and then we'll have a flap up here that we can get to Bookshee storage and stuff like that But yeah, it's looking nice and we got to remember is the bench this side is still only going to be the width of that wood there so realistically you've still got all this flipping cutting around real estate in between the two benches which is stunning ain't it bex bloody lovely bloody lovely bex is going to be by santa's little helper today because she's cutting around with bob churchill and Kerr flipping jacket on aka my screw holder aka She's not my screw holder, as in like the jacket's my screw holder, as in like Bex is gonna be putting screws in, man. I'm talking insulation, I'm talking everything. <laughs> right, what we've got to do today is get a cover on that. So I'm gonna cut out a bit of uh, nine mil ply, not nine mil, mm, let's go four mil, four mil ply and get that covered over. Cause I'm getting a bit annoyed with the sellotape coming off around it. And I just wanna get it squared. I'm not gonna paint it cause I'm not gonna paint until we crack on with painting this side of the kitchen unit to get it looking like that badger. Someone said they were dizzy the other day in the comments, but you know what? You don't like the film work, then go and find flipping Peter McKinnon. <laughs> but basically, basically, yeah, if you want decent film work, go and follow Bex and chin me off, rod me off, lads. So yeah, we're gonna get that overhead one done and we're gonna do, oh, the compressor's cutting about in the background, don't listen to the noise. We're gonna get these rear doors insulated because I keep having a drama with these and this little one here, this little badger, when it comes down to it, it's throwing lights up on the dash and I've already done a chase problem with this before as you'll remember in previous episodes. I ended up chasing for ages wondering why the rear number plate light wouldn't come on and it kept throwing lights up on the dash and it turns out that it was because there's corrosion in the little, uh, in the little connectors here to the bulb unit and um, you end up getting all this uh, copper oxide. Uh, well, no, it's copper, copper yeah, it's copper oxide. Uh, not sulfur, it's sulfur, it's blue, oxide's flipping green. Uh, so you end up getting all this copper oxide in there, it builds up and then the connection like fads out and piles in. So I need to rejig that before we insulate and panel these back doors, otherwise it's just gonna keep happening. And I think it's down to the fact that because we're so close to the back doors, you get condensation up top on them when you're sleeping and then it drips down the doors. That gets all mouldy and dogs your uncle, fanny your aunt. Next thing you know, your number plate's out on the motorway and you get pulled by the feds. <laughs> but yeah, let's get these badges insulated and uh, looking forward to it. How are you all anyway, gang? You all groovy? I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling a bit local black country today with the old, uh, the old cap on. You know what I mean? A bit Tommy Shelby. Crack, back and sack. Did you hear that? I said more Tommy Shelby, Beck said more Oliver flipping it is, isn't it? twist. Please, sir, could I have some more? Caca! Let's face it, 
First things first, before any work gets done, we've got to have a bloody brew, haven't we? Ten more throughout the day, and then Ten more throughout the day, <laughs> 16 packs of Bicky, and then you're halfway <laughs> British. <laughs> Nipped. Right, so, what we've got to do first is grab a bit of rag and wipe down these badges because we want the self-adhesive sticker back first stage of insulation, which I'll drop down below, you can get it if you want, onto this metal. And the reason we put that on is because the outermost layer is the metal of layer, the metal of layer, the layer of metal that is in contact with the outside air. And when you've got the inside air that's at a hot temperature because you've got a diesel heater running or warm bodies that are producing condensation, when you get to the outermost layer, that hot air touching the metal that's got cold air on the outside of it causes that air to condensate and then you get condensation and condensation in the small space you live in where stuff can go mouldy is not good so let's insulate this bitch grab your rag and just do a bit of flipping this you've got to make sure that you're pretty careful with doing the doors because you don't want to mess up one your mechanisms to any wiring like this you don't want it to get hot and cause dramas so you've got to try and go around this stuff but with your first stage insulation, you're in a good place. Just try and get it as many places as you can. So get all this stuff clean first. And try not to get in the way of the door locks. But when you're doing this, just be careful, man, because there's a lot of sharp bits of metal and you don't want to cut yourself and get yourself injured. Because that's the last thing we want from you lads. Here she is. Ah, sticker back. It's basically bubble, imagine bubble wrap crossed with reflective material crossed with self-adhesion and that's exactly what you've got there you can get stuff like the dodo foam which is what uh beluga's using at the minute i'll drop that down below as well and that's like a, a, a sort of foam like roll mat style insulation uh one side uh sticky back as well but then it hasn't got the reflective properties but it has got more i suppose noise deadening properties well i quite like reflective stuff because i know that it bounces heat back uh although it doesn't matter if you use it on outside panels facing outwards and stuff like that because you can't reflect cold, you can only reflect heat. That's why I don't, I didn't go ham with like insulating the floor because you're gonna get cold ingress from underneath, but my diesel is uh, bouncing off the floor, uh, or the pipe will be. So then you're gonna get all that bouncing off and heat rises anyway. Insulate the shit out of your roof and you'll be in a good place. I don't even cut these like, cut these aside. You're just gonna need a razor blade to be honest. And that is the rear doors now both covered in the first stage insulation. Now we need to get the rock the rock wool in there, which is not actually rock wool, it's this recycled plastic bottle stuff and it's dope. So we're gonna break that up and get it in there now. Very good. Very nice. Very <laughs> sexy. Spray glue, check. Foam bottle recycle stage two -y stuff. Check, glue in there, stick it on, good, it? let it dry a sec. Bob is your uncle. Fanny is indeed your aunt. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? One down, one on the go <laughs> so it has um i've had to leave this bit here then you've got to leave this bit here because as you close the door this hinge malarkey comes into that and protrudes so you don't want to go mental with that but yeah which is quite annoying actually because this is on the outside of the seal so you're always going to get cold air coming in through that hole there that you can see see my fingers behind it there mm. so i'm sure we'll figure something out for that so we've come in to check up on Beluga's build and oh my god, is it look it's, it's looking sauce man. Just, just have a look, some look. Dorf. Check that out, baby. Raptor pods are in, windows are in the sides, even got the awning on now. Beluga's been down here, aren't you? Doing a bit of uh doing a bit of handyman work with the lads, just giving him a bit of a, a bit of workman's hand, aren't you? Starting on the flipping 
bed tomorrow, innit? Yeah, man. Units are just slotted in place. It's what I meant about kitchen units. So these bad boys are in here now as well. The fridge is in place and, you know, we can just sort of, the lads can have a bit of a play about now and see where stuff's going. But your oven will be in there, same as Bo, won't it? Freeze a little below it. Sweet house, man. Um, I believe you've had a pretty good idea. Yeah, we've um, gone. Tell us, tell us your idea with this uh, GP. You know what I'm saying? Little support beam here or whatever. Probably get some extra, got some leftover vinyl, so vinyl this bad boy. Drop in a bit of shoe storage in there, you know what I mean? A bit of a flap down. Doof. 100%. The ideal thing about these kitchens as well, in it, is that with the legs raising it up, if you take the plinth off from the inside and the outside, you can access a bit more storage. You too. can indeed, mate. You don't need lots of anything. Bit dark here, yeah. but. You can get the general vibe. Looking sweet. We'll keep you updated with this though, gang, because, oh, mate, it's shaping up. Not gonna lie. It's literally, it's Connie on steroids, isn't it? It's the old Connect on steroids, and it looks absolutely boss. Awning on, side pods in, kitchen's going in. A few more weeks, she'll be Dumbledore, won't she? Looking groovy. So you've got like this hard wearing floor in up until where his bed's gonna come. That'll slide out. And then you've got the pottage going on. Looking sweet. Loving it. Looking loving it, mate. Cannot wait Buzz to get in it to be fair. In. This will be me chillaxing. Oh, God. Beautiful. Looking sick house. So let me get you back to Bo and show you what I've been doing on her because uh, we've got a bit of progress going on there as well. So let's three, two, one. Hello gang i'm actually future me that's currently like mid the next video but i've had to drop back because the footage that i took after this was like the last footage that i did was on my phone it looked cack and the audio was terrible so it took me ages to try and fix that and then i didn't actually when i came back into the van to show you the progress i'd done it was so dark and it just fell to bits it looked really grainy so here we are in the broad daylight looking sweet af let me show you what i got up to so if we have a look at the side door, I said I was going to put a cover on it, and there we go. Obviously, I haven't painted that yet because I'm going to wait until it comes to sanding that back and painting those bits and bobs as well. But what I have done is put it in with the caps on. I haven't covered those over because I want to make it hard for myself to get this back off again. But that's going to be white, and that looks pretty sleek now. It sort of ties in that part of the van. Loving that. Moving forward then, really, we've got... Yeah, tools left, right and Chelsea. I'm back out on the road, but that's what we've got there. We did the panelling down that side. We've now got the panelling finished off up this side and then somewhere I've got a piece to finish it all off. Ah, oh no. To cap it off, we've got this badger and that to me makes it look a million bucks. Obviously it'll sit closer in there, be screwed in down it, but yeah, nice little cap off. Looking dope. And that's that part. That's the bit of storage. Whee. That's that bench need done. We'll crack on with that in the next video. And then we've got that. Oh, Becky's brand flake as per. And then a panel wooded up there as well with the old tongue and groove. And that's looking nice and sleek. So that's where we're at with Bilbo Baggins, really. She's looking sweet, she's looking smart. And the next movement really is obviously finish the bench. And yesterday actually my electrics arrived. Uh, well, I've got like batteries and all that sort of good stuff, but I'm talking like wiring and terminals and all that sort of good stuff. And looking forward to getting the batteries in place, getting them charging, and then sort of doing some minimal 12 volt stuff like lighting on the ceilings, a hook up for the 12 volt for the water pump and stuff like that. I've actually bought a new water pump, but I'll fill you in on that at a later point. And that's uh, that's got an accumulator with it. So it means that you don't have to constantly have it pump, 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 pumping like so. And yeah, just um, once we've got around to that gaff, get the, uh, get the diesel heater on the go, keep ourselves warm. <sighs> We need to start thinking about this as well. I don't know if you guys have forgot about this, but I definitely did. It's getting a bit annoying now, using this gas bottle as like, uh, it's in the way, it's getting annoying and it's it peeing me off on the road. So what we do need to do is get that badger punched out the side of the van and get it done. Because that means we can get cheap gas then as well, rock up to your LPG stations, fill it up at the side. That'll last six months and it costs about flipping 30 quid rather than 90 quid for the big colour bottles that you get from B&Q. So yeah, we can crack on like that, put ourselves in a good place. It's going good. Well, that's about it really for progression of the van uh, and the build this week. 
But yeah, as always, I hope you're doing well, gang. It's been an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification you want to know as soon as I upload another video. One love. See you next week for this gaff. Bex. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao.